Hello everyone, welcome to day 5 of my Inktober series. This is a daily drawing challenge and my theme this year is fairy tales. Every day is centered around a different fairy tale and I'll be discussing those while you watch. Little Daylight is another George MacDonald story that I read when I was young and it has stuck with me ever since. A princess is born and is such a delightful infant that they name her Little Daylight. Nearby in the forest there live eight fairies. Seven of them are good and one is the bad swamp witch. Seven good fairies are invited to the christening, and the eighth is not, which she uses as all the reasoning she needs to do something nasty. She shows up to the christening and watches five fairies proffer their gifts to the child. The other two are unnoticed in the crowd. The evil fairy steps forward and curses the child to sleep all the hours of the day in an ironic twist of her name. The sixth good fairy steps in, horrified, and counters that the child shall be awake all night to make up for it. The evil fairy protests that she had been interrupted, and thus added that the child should wax and wane with the moon. The final good fairy steps forward, and declared that the curse should be broken when a prince kissed her without knowing of the curse. The swamp fairy begrudgingly allowed this, since she couldn't pretend she still wasn't done. Thus the princess grew in this strange way, fading almost to death with the new moon, round-cheeked and healthy with the full moon, and it only got worse as she grew older. She spent her time in the forest with her handmaidens, dancing about and exploring when she was healthy. Now, after a few years of this, a neighboring kingdom suffered a revolution, and the royal family was killed, save for the prince who was spirited away, dressed as a beggar. He wandered through the woods and eventually came to the house of one of the good fairies. She hosted him for the night and told him he could stay if he did not find a better place the next night. The prince wandered on, and as the moon rose, he came across a clearing where he saw a beautiful figure coming out, dancing towards him. As, at first, he thought it was another fairy, but the closer she drew, the clearer he could see and realized she was a human. He returned the next three nights, the third of which was the full moon, and he was absolutely in love with this princess. For these nights, he has been staying at the house of the handmaiden responsible for Little Daylight, and she has told him nothing but her name. At this point, the evil swamp fairy had, that cursed Little Daylight in the first place hears of this prince and puts a curse in place to keep him lost and away from Little Daylight's clearing so that he cannot kiss her. When the moon cycles back to the new moon, she lifts the curse so that he can see how ugly she has become. The prince finds her clearing once again, but there is no princess. He starts a fire and sits down to wait, only to see a tiny bundle of rags stir by a nearby tree. He goes over to find a withered, wrinkled old lady with shocking blue eyes and bizarrely yellow hair. She is such a piteous sight that he picks her up and takes her to the fire, but all she does is moan piteously. Because of this, the prince is compelled to take her to the nearby cottage of the handmaiden, addressing this old woman as dear mother and deferring absolute respect to her. As he walks, tears begin to fall from the old woman's eyes, and the prince is so moved that he bends to kiss her lips in a gesture of comfort before walking on. She grows heavier and heavier, and when the prince has, finally has to stop for how heavy she has grown, he finds little daylight in his arms, and she returns his kiss as a young princess. The tale ends with the sun falling on her face for the first time since infancy. I don't believe this has a category in the Arne Thompson Uther classification system since this is actually a short story by George MacDonald, but again, with the last video, I recommend you find it and read the whole thing since there are so many details that I just simply cannot cover in this time. Thanks so much. See you next time.